Hey there, Pre-K. I have one last book to read for you by Jane Yolen about dinosaurs. I saved the best one for last. It's kind of uh, sentimental. This story is called, How Do Dinosaurs Say I Love You? By Jane Yolen and Mark Teague. Published by Blue Sky Press, an imprint of Scholastic Incorporated, New York. Dedicated to David Stemple. You woke in the morning in such a bad mood. Then sat at the table and fussed with your food. But then you blew kisses and waved from the door. I love you, I love you, my dinosaur. Out in the sandbox, you threw lots of sand. You ran from the slide after slapping my hand. But you suddenly turned with a smile I adore. Oh, I'll always love you, my dinosaur. You moped through your nap time and slept not a wink. You flooded the house when you played in the sink. But you got out the mop and then cleaned up the floor. I love you, I love you so much, little dinosaur. So he made a mess, but he cleaned it up. Off in the car, you kept kicking my seat. And when you got out, you were dragging your feet. But you held my hand tight. When we walked in the store, I love you forever, my dinosaur. Oh, dinner disaster. You made such a mess. Would you stay up past bedtime? The answer was yes. But when you smile sweetly 
and hold back your roar when you kiss me and hug me once, twice, even more. That's when you give love, and I know this is true, because that's how a dinosaur says, I love you. So, do you know what I noticed? I noticed that even when this dinosaur did some pretty naughty things, like making a mess at the table and kicking his mom's seat in the car, the mom and the dad still love the dinosaur. He might get in trouble, but it doesn't mean that the mom and the dad don't love him. And guess what? Even when you get in trouble at school, it doesn't mean your teachers don't love you either. Because your teachers and the grown-ups who take care of you do love you.